Good morning, folks. This is Darth Ravage here. So I'm coming to you today with another quick review. Today we have none other on the turntable, the Transmetal 2 Megatron from the Beast Wars universe, and I couldn't be happier. There's his excellent looking box art there. There's some art on the side showing off his new facial look and that beautiful dragon head. On the back of the box, you can see he goes in 33 steps. He does this, that, and the other. And uh, there's the bio for those that want to scan and get his bio. Here is the barcode for those looking in stores. Uh, pause and scan there. Much like a kid at Christmas, I couldn't wait till Christmas to get this guy open, so he's already out of that cardboard and uh, plastic bindings prison. <laughs> Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and thank you again to all those who have joined me on the journey. Let's see what all came in the box. Thanks again. He comes with his instructions, of course, and this actually folds out into a bigger, greater deal there. But uh, showing you how to use his flame as a club, or you can use it for, of course, his dragon head. There's your steps there. And all these 33 lovely steps to get him into that awesome looking dragon mode. Boom. And what he can do when he's in dragon mode. Speaking of which, let's uh, show that off right here. Boom. Comes with this awesome hard plastic flame effect that we'll peg in. Causing grief up for us for reviewers trying to review this guy. He is pretty massive, pretty big uh, once he's on the turntable. But not as big as, say, Mega Dragora, as my son has downstairs. My son just keeps rubbing it in my face. But this is a really, really impressive Dragon Mode update to the Transmetal 2 Dragon, a retail release there. Uh, I actually got this from Pulse. Pulse was sending stuff like crazy. I think Amazon got theirs out quicker, but I didn't order through that. So there is this excellent, fine creature. Let's take a closer, take a closer look at some details here. Let's start off with this dragon head and neck area. I mean, this is just really flipping sweet and amazing. He's got all the way up on this one ball here. He's got a ball there, ball there, ball there, ball there. Boom, so that's really nice posability. Each of these can turn however you need to to get it to looking really, really awesome. You can look back over his wing or shoulder. Before we zoom away from the head, that jaw can articulate that wide. And then there is the port that you can port in the flame effect there. And uh, like how this side versus the old G1, there's some sprues there. So hopefully we can get a third party kit to get some sprue covers. I wish that these would come with that. Uh, especially with the price point and what have you and you keep going down the side there and you get another sh couple of sprues there uh, Sprue screws, but this side is pretty clean looking on that. So there's two sides to every dragon If a dragon has a head it has a tail and this tail is a little bit short in my opinion But uh, it is also fully articulated and this is made of hard plastic versus the soft plastic of the original and uh, the wings do articulate in and come back so you can close this stuff up it will fold in on itself there boom so you got both of those tucked away there on the back and standing up on the turntable there he looks a little bit crazy uh skinny and uh his head just keeps keep, keep getting off screen so i was wanting to compare him to the original megs and my original Transmetal 2 mix has seen its better days. Like I was saying, it's like the first release has no sprues on this side, but then on this other side, you can see the ugliness of the sprues in it, or the screws there. So they needed to do some sprues even with that back in the day. And uh, I love the colors of the original. I think that looks so awesome. And the play feature here with the head where you open that up and it actually shot a missile back in the day. You can almost see clear back to the back of his throat there. That's a nice feature to have. I wish that would have been incorporated into this guy, but I get it. It is also a little feature here where the wings unfurl and lock into place. So there's, it's got plus and minuses on both sides of the spectrum there. And then of course you got his head and his butt still. There's his head and his butt still. But uh, 
this is about the only thing you can do. You can swing it the other way. That Predacon symbol looks nice there. Tempoed in on the back there. For those who don't have it, so there's the Predacon symbol. I'd like to have seen that action a little bit more. And uh, race car mode that this has, this guy doesn't have. So then uh, also, this was a pliable, rubbery kind of mess. I was always afraid of it having gold plastic syndrome. It's, or rubber even, but then uh, he's falling back again. And uh, on the joints right here, this guy, for those that still got him, I bought this in 1999 and it's just over the time and years it's broke, but it still pegs in. So it's like every transformation is a little bit more catchier. The paint work is still like top notch. I wish that would have been more incorporated into this guy, but they went with gradients versus the chromed. And then I love the spark crystal. I wish this would be brought back for features like this. If they do a, Car Robots, Megatron, or Galvatron, both color versions. I think it should have one of these in there. So, but uh, that's just my own opinion. The asymmetry is as present here, is also present in the new release. And uh, I'm just gonna put that back there. Hopefully I can get it to stand up one more time without falling and breaking. And then I'm gonna unfurl these just a little bit to kind of show that off with the wings out. You see the gradients I'm talking about, and you got the tail stuff going on. That's way better on this one than the old one there. And uh, the asymmetry, boom, there's this piece like this, and then that's like that, but this one's painted, that one's not. And uh, this is way better chest detail. They do got a crystal, but it looks like an eyeball. Hi. But uh, I guess it's a spark crystal. This Megatron is carrying, uh, couple of sparks there so that's a uh, pretty awesome how that he's carrying a couple of sparks he borrowed that idea from optimal optimus whenever that went down you guys if you haven't watched beast wars you need to watch it it's really really awesome especially if you're g1 and or beast fans now that comes to one one complaint in dragon mode this does like to unpeg and get undone but you can easily get it back in there and peg it back up and i like that it has that movement there so that's the, about it for the dragon, dragon modes. But I just wanted to get these guys together and show them off one more time here without maybe killing one or the other and breaking either one. But uh, there you go. This has way better articulation than this guy. It's got the kind of same thing. This is a tighter ratchet, but this has got soft ratchet clicks. And the other thing I was trying to pull, oh, these hands are crazy awesome the way that it swivels here moves there it's got the elbow it's got this i mean you can get all kinds of craziness there it's crazy articulated with the newer one so i guess what one has more crazy articulation the other one has the original like gimmicks and play features built in this one's wings will spread wider open than that, that one's and i hope that's gives you a kind of a good idea of what you're going through there I'm gonna get this guy and this guy transformed. This guy I'm more so very, very carefully, but I'm gonna get them transformed. And we'll do that comparison once I get them in a robot mode there. And uh, thanks again. Here we go, guys. Transform. Enter the dragon. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Megatron, terrorize. And here is the new Megatron Transmetal 2 leader class on the turntable looking absolutely magnificent in his new legacy class form. There's what the profile looks from the starboard side. Here's the aft and everything cleans up so nicely and goes and pegs and does its stuff and things and boom. And the articulation is a literal beast on this thing. And the details, as you can see, are popping through and through. Let's get a look at that noggin. They painted the little grr in his teeth there. So boom, there's that little squiggle there. Some paint there used. Uh, there's light pipe in there. Boom. So that's kind of neat. It looks like it shooting that missile and firing out when you do that. I wish that these eyes were light pipe, but that's okay. And uh, due to the way this constraints of this thing is, you get all this articulation that's with the dragon tail, being it's like a ponytail now. And then uh, 
He's got those nice molded in horns there. These can articulate back and give you a different look and let you do just this much head turn and whatnot. It's pretty locked in there. It's the only other Debbie Downer there unless I'm doing it all wrong. Uh, these little hands like to seem to come untabbed and popped from his chest, but that's cool how it's not faking the parts this time around. They actually do tab in there. There's the beast eye, but it's supposed to be the other spark that he's carrying alongside his spark. And I just love the detail of that Adam and chest area. And they managed to get in for the normal arm. This uh, outward movement is was hindered. Uh, it was put in backwards this piece was so I unscrewed and put it in the right way to where you get the full articulation of that and you can go all the way around if so desire there guys and uh, he's got upper bicep swivel he's got a double in the uh, elbow because due to the transformation I with that piece right here on the inside there I couldn't get this to tab in to the transformation bit so and that's how you'll know that you can uh, do it or not out of the box. If this thing is backwards, you'll have to unscrew this whole thing and put that, you gotta actually take out two screws. Let's see, nope, that, that one right there, there's two screws in the leg. But I had a leg issue where this was not sitting as flush as it is now. It's still not totally flush, but nor is this side sitting totally flush. So there was some uh, flashings I had to remove from this joint here. So. QC is continuing to be an issue with these guys, but that is still brilliantly detailed, brilliantly painted. If for not using the vac metal, I think this has still got really, really nice details paint-wise and whatnot. What is impressive is that wingspan working in both modes, flaring out to there, and you can get it forward, you can get it back, however you want to do it. I'm going to flare this out over here too, real quick to give you that look as well. So there's him all furled out and whatnot. And once again, the articulation on this arm has been greatly, vastly improved. You can get all the way around if you desire there. You can move the wing out of the way and get it. You got out to there due to the original joints, but this was a, such a well thought out piece. You can take and swivel right here and you can get him shooting his dragon head off there. But instead of hitting the horns and getting it to open, you have to actually physically get in there and get it. And then you can put the fire blast in there. But uh, it looks kind of goofy when you do that. As he always kind of just naturally aims down versus, uh, shoot, there we go. He always aims naturally down to the way that it does and whatnot. So I think a regular blast effects can look good as this flame effect. And I like that they did this, but I don't like that they didn't account for this. I wish this had this extra joint like the old toy did. So we'll pull that out right there and readjust. I do love the way that does look getting on into the rest of the articulation because each one of these will turn individually and you can do it however you need to so you can get maximum dynamic dragon posing range going down into his waist. He's got the nice ratchet full 360 at the waist as needed desire. You can get the full fan damage if you desire. Splitsville, however you want to take it and do it. You do get as far back and you can move stuff out of the way and you can get it going back further. Back. You can go forward that far, and you got no upper there, but you do got the knee upper swivel there, so you get those poses there. Get this back down here, uh, this much in the leg, and you can get further if, if desired or need be. You can move that back kibble out of the way. It does tab in back there, and it likes to keep popping off on mine, but uh, there's how much you get there. And these are also individually jointed and you can do other crazy stuff there. And you can do it here and it's really tight on mine. So just be careful with yours. Boom, as you go. And the piece of resistance, you get some tiltage. You get to go that way, that way. And then like I said, that whole bottom joint moves that way and moves that way. So you can tuck those legs in flight and then still have that it's got that heavy duty stuff there to where you don't have to worry about that tipping or falling over like the, the, the 99 version did a lot there. So boom, there that is. Uh, no waist or wrist swivel in this hand. It's just a major bummer. It'll hinge, but boom. And this is the final look. If you do the club, you can do fire club of doom and blah and all that stuff. So let me get the old school mags on here with him. 
And here's until two tr transmetal two megatrons on the turntable, 99 versus 2022. And uh, this guy has the big like floating bubble chamber there and a little seat there uh, that carried uh, megatrons, other spark there. And uh, gone is the wheel feature there. It doesn't exist over here, which I'm super glad they didn't try to incorporate that into this. I think it was too much for this back in the day. And this one has that soft rubber issues where this one's got the vastly superior articulating head and make it look heckin' gone better. I'm gonna get rid of this fire effect. I don't like it. It's just a bit much. And then let you go around here and look at the back side of these guys and see how all that cleans up on this angle here. And I've untapped it again. Wait a second. Here's a look at both back sides. I like the darker color and the back metal on this. The gradient looks okay on this. I would have liked to have seen that, but I don't know if it would actually stick to the newer stuff they're using these days. And uh, this is hard plastic. This is that soft plastic I was telling you about again. Uh, I like these heel spurs better. I like those little nub heel spurs with the wheel thing because of his race car mode. That, Nobody ever displays that in. I just certainly don't. Uh, the AC symmetry, I want to say, is not there for these guys and is asymmetrical here. Look how different it is there on the wingtips. Uh, so there's that. And the big old hands don't actually incorporate in. They just kind of hang off the back where this guy's hands actually folds into his chest. And both this piece and this piece had two missiles back in the day, which threw several moves over the last 23 years and play uh, not really play it just it, it's it's in my stuff somewhere i know those missiles are still there because i really did love those and it both of these shot really far you get light piping like i said there again to simulate pew, 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 some faster fire there but that's about going to do it for the robot mode so let's get this guy into some final thoughts i've held you up long enough royalty some final thoughts on this uh, Transmetal 2 Megatron. I really do love this all the same as uh, like the one I got at KB Toys back in 1999. And it is an excellent uh, upgrade to a fan favorite. And it beat the Transmetal T-Rex to the retail shelf there or market. I don't think it's really on the shelves yet. Amazon and Hasbro Pulse is getting it out to those that pre-ordered or was able to pre-order through there and uh, found a better thing to do with the blast effect. Now the Inferno's over here. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Anyway, uh, really do recommend this guy. I hope we get Tiger Hawk, Optimal Optimus, all legacied up. I think we're getting an Armada uh, Optimus Prime figure coming through. So uh, the future's wide open with this legacy evolution stuff. Hopefully they'll, they'll make the stuff even more better uh, moving forward and what we had back in the day. Uh, absolutely love this guy. I love this guy. And it's nice to have two of the finale, the Beast Wars together there. Uh, it's time for some fusers. It's time for some depth chart and some rampage. Really, really love Beast Wars guys. Uh, highly recommend if you love the Beast Wars. That's, that's it guys. Uh, if you hadn't got this guy, if you can catch it in stock, grab it online. Or if you can look in the stores and find it, don't forget to look down here in the description to get that uh, UPC again, or rewind back to the beginning and uh, or sk skip back to the beginning and grab it there too. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have an excellent, safe Thanksgiving week out there, and till all are one. <laughs> Have a great week, guys. Be safe.